hey guys if you would like to purchase any of my handmade designs please check out my etsy shop and also my store in v shop and if there's any items that you see on my videos that you don't see on either site please send me an email all links are in the description box Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Lala Riri Jury, and in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make a memory wire bracelet, and what I like to call wraparound bracelets. So this um, DIY is going to be super easy, and you don't need a whole lot of supplies. Um, you're going to need some memory wire of any color and or size of your choice. Um, but this is the one that I'm going to be using. You can use any um, bead of your choice. But I'll be using these Jesse James um, beads. And then I have two jump rings. Just because at the end of my memory wire bracelets, I'll be hanging charms on the ends. And you're also going to need pliers, rounded pliers, and some wire cutters. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys all of the bracelets that I made um, at this time. Um, of course, I've made plenty of bracelets like this in the past, but um, this is the batch of bracelets that I recently made. So I will be also going through those and letting you guys see these uh bracelets a little bit more so let's get started okay so the first thing you want to do is take your memory wire um and for the amount of beads that you have um i would go ahead and count about four loops and then cut the memory wire So I'm counting one, two, three, four, and I'm just going to grab the wire cutters and cut the wire. All right, so... Once you have the wire cut, um, what I like to do, it's other methods um, in doing this, but what I like to do is just take one of the ends of the wires and take the rounded pliers and just go ahead and loop the end of that wire and close it um, shut. So you're going to do a full loop just like that with the rounded um, wire cutters. Well, with the rounded pliers. Okay, so um, with this pack of beads, it came with... Um, with different charms and everything in it. So I'm going to um, be hanging charms at the end of the bracelet. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take out these little heart charms. And that's what I'm going to put on each end of the bracelet. And then what you can do is kind of map out the order that you want to put your beads so that you can make sure that your design is the way that you want it to be um and that it makes sense throughout the bracelet 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put these beads in in a little pattern or order how I'm going to be the, the bracelet. And then I'm going to start beading it after that. Okay, so I just lined up the beads how I want to start beading it on to the memory wire. And what I'm going to do is take um, one um, section and start um, beating it onto the mem memory wire um, from, from the end where the tassel is onto this way. And then once I get to the next um, set of beads, I'm going to start beating from this end on so that both ends of the wraparound bracelet is going to be the same. So now I'm just going to take um, my wire and start to bead the beads onto it. And you can just put a few beads on. And once you get a few beads on, you can just push the beads to the end of the wire. So I've now finished beading the entire memory wire bracelet and I did do too much wire so I'm going to use my fingers and measure about an inch of the wire and then I'm going to take my wire cutters and, and cut the wire and then I'm going to take my rounded pliers and I'm going to curve the end of that wire just like I did at, when I started to make this bracelet. And just leave a little loop at the end. Just like that. Okay, so now that I'm done with all of that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my jump rings and then those charms that I left over. And I'm going to take my rounded um, pliers and just open up the jump rings.
and then I'm just gonna take the loop at the end of the bracelet with the jump ring and the little charm and I'm gonna add that to the end of the bracelet. And then I'm just gonna take my pliers and close the jump ring up. And this is gonna be the end result. And I'm gonna do that on both ends. All right, and that is it. And this is the finished product. So this is really pretty and super easy. Um, like I said, you can use any kind of beads that you um would like to use. Um, all of these beads came in one pack, but you can mix and match um, the beads however you please. But this is super simple, um, very beginner friendly, um, and also very quick to make. So now I'll just show you guys some of the other um, bracelets that I recently made. Okay, so this is more of a close up of the one that I just showed you guys um how to do the DIY on and this is another one and I also did like a pack of beads so all of these beads um came together I just used some different charms on the end um that I um already had And this one was another um, set of beads that came together. They're just um, smaller beads. And this is another one. These came in a, um, a pack of beads just like the one I showed you on a DIY. I just used some different charms at the end. this is another really pretty one and all of these beads did come together and this is another really pretty one as well and all of that came together Okay, and then for this one, this one is much smaller. Um, it's only really one full loop. But with this one, this was just beads that I had left over. Um, 
sometimes when you make jewelry a lot, you'll end up with a lot of um, eyed beads left over while you don't have a whole lot of them left. So these um, memory wire bracelets is something um, really good to use for the beads that you end up um, having left over. Because you can kind of just put them together and do the memory wire bracelet. So that's what I did for this one. And that's just a good idea for those eye beads that are left over. Um, this is another really pretty one. And all of these beads are um, from Jesse James. Um, some of these beads I actually had in hauls before. So this is um, what I decided to do with um, some of those. And they, each um, set of beads have different names, but of course I don't remember all of the different names. But this is another one. This one is a little bit smaller than the other ones. And this one is a bit large. It's a lot of um, loops on this one. But also really pretty. And this is the last one. All right. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also give this um, simple DIY a try. It's really easy to make and very beginner friendly um, and just really stylish and nice, um, super easy. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.